China. Most of the objects that surround me come from you, yet I don't know you. Where to begin? How do I connect with your people? Music could be a way. With my travel companion Daoud, I put my trust in traditional string instruments to weave my way through the Silk Road, one year on the road, across 12 countries, exploring their traditional music and connecting with their players. Our first stop, China. Welcome to the musical threads of the Silk Road. Kunming, here I am. A stranger who doesn't know anyone and cannot speak Chinese. I am quickly taken by this vibrant city, the mix of modernity and tradition, the influence of Taoism and Buddhism. But I do not lose track of my goal. I want to find traditional string instrument musicians. Maybe I will find someone to collaborate with in this musical show. Maybe not. Instead, I search for a traditional instrument store, and I find one. The saxophone player is quite painful to listen to. The seller has a beautiful collection of instruments, and I try one, the pipa a direct cousin of the Oud. Uh, Buzen, mm. Pipa, hey, hey. and this? Luan. Luan. Mm. Luan. Luan. The Luan sounds pretty good, but I'm probably butchering it with my western style. I ask the seller if he knows a pipa player. And by chance, he does. His neighbor. The charismatic Mei Ling. I step into a class with two of our students and discover the pipa's true, beautiful sound. I am then offered a traditional tea ceremony. It is an elaborate ritual filled with elegance and simplicity. One must slow down to focus on the present moment The atmosphere is peaceful and contemplative. We then come to the heart of the matter, creating music together. We record a piece and film ourselves in a home and in her neighborhood. The very first music video of my journey is created when Oud meets Pipa. The streets of Kunming are noisy. Life is in the streets. They are busy with people, market stands, and most Chinese stores and restaurants are open onto the streets. I found a music school. Beyond the surrounding noise, the clear and resonant sound reaches my ears. The Gujiang. The teacher, Chang Ka Yi, plays it with great skill and elegance. 
，十八岁的时候呢，我就呃，因为喜欢这门乐器，然后考进了云南艺术学院，然后去专门的去作为一个专业知识来学习。开始的话是秦国出现的，呃，距离现在的话大概是有个两千五百年左右。呃，它这个乐器呢是由瑟，呃，琴瑟，呃，但是现在呢，我们现代通常是以二十一根琴弦来演奏。呃，调音的话，我们通常是有两个，呃，一个是微调。然后微调的话，通常它音色走展不会太大，所以我们就用这个琴码来调。然后如果是要变调，或者是说，呃，它的音可能走展的比较大，音差比较大的话，我们就会选择用扳手在那个呃琴柱上来调。琴弦的话是由呃这个钢丝、丝还有尼龙制成的。嗯，在弹奏的话，古筝的话，嗯，右手指法是为最基本的大搓、小搓、花指、上行刮奏、下行刮奏、拍音，然后，嗯，点奏、摇指。呃、嗯，左手的话，基本就是为按音、滑音、揉弦、颤音的，就是。像我们这个民族乐器呢，它基本上是为一个五声音阶，就是宫、上、爵、制、羽五个声音来组成。然后，呃，发西它是属于就是偏音这个样子。In the same pentatonic scale, we play a piece called "Flowers in Full Bloom" for the Wen Wood Miskujang music video. Before I leave, I ask her about the guzheng in contemporary China. Minzue guzheng, it certainly is not Xi'an guzheng. 张凯伊 s observation of the decline in the practice of traditional Chinese instruments is an example of the profound transformation of Chinese culture. I see brand new neighborhoods being constructed, state-of-the-art train stations, mass tourism, and the folklorization of culture in cities like Dali or Lijiang. I somehow feel like I arrived too late. Are there still urban spaces where the essence of Chinese culture can be found? A lot happens in these parks. The morning stillness is ideal for personal development activities. Yoga in India, jogging in the West, and here in China, it's Tai Chi. Changshen Jianti Jinling Ningjing. Strengthen the body and keep the mind calm. Is the fundamental principle of Tai Chi. Gradually, social activities take over. Groups of people dance freely as children would do. I have never seen this before. Yet, it fills me with joy to witness the interplay between mind and body, young and old, traditional music and pop music.
I just love the atmosphere in these parks. That freedom they have to dance, to sing and perform their art without judgment towards one another is beautiful in itself. Although it doesn't sound anything like Meiling's Pipa or Chiang Kai's Gujang, they nonetheless bring life to traditional music. And in return, the music allows them to live the simple joys of being until the final chapters of their lives. Ah, this is a 